Hello, and welcome to your fish dissection kit brought to you by Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks. Before we begin, let's get familiar with our kit. In the upper left corner, you will see special instructions to follow before you begin your dissection. If you think you have missed a step or want to watch this demo again, we have a QR code on each page for easy access. Notice that page one and page two contain all the organs and body parts you will need for this dissection. Page three contains a completed schematic for a male trout in both color and black and white. Page four also is a completed schematic for a female trout found in color and black and white. Page five begins the table where you will find all the organs and body parts in color, as well as their individual descriptions for what they do within the body. Then finally, page seven is where you will find your completed written instructions for your dissection. Now let's get started. We will start by coloring all of our body parts and organs. If you would like to match your colors to real fish organs, use the table on page five and page six for reference. Just for fun, let's color the body of the trout as well. For this video, I'll pick blue. Now that we have finished coloring all of our body parts and organs, we will carefully cut them out using the dotted line that outlines each piece. Now that we have completed coloring and cutting out all of our body parts and organs, let's begin our dissection. For this, you will need additional materials. You will need two paper clips, tape, and a pen or a marker. As we complete our dissection, remember to refer back to the table on page five and page six to learn about each body part and organ. Let's take our first paper clip and place it towards the top of the fish. We'll then take our second paper clip and put it towards the bottom. The paper clips will be used to hold our body parts and organs in place as we complete our dissection. We will then tape down the nose, as well as the caudal fin, also known as the tail fin. We will take our marker and label the mouth. and the vent for directionality. We will start by taking our vertebrae and rib cage and placing it carefully into the body of the fish using the paper clips to hold it in place. Next, we will take our kidney and place it on top of our vertebrae, also known as our backbone. We will then take our swim bladder or air bladder and place it on top of our kidney. Next, we will need to decide which reproductive organs we wish to use for our dissection. Would we like to use the egg sacs indicating female or the testes indicating the male? For this, let's use the egg sacs for female. And we will place them carefully over the top of our air bladder. Next, we will take our digestive system containing the esophagus, 
stomach, pyloric CK, intestine, rectum, and anus, and place it on top of our egg sacs. Next, we will take the spleen and carefully place it underneath the pyloric CK next to the stomach. Now we will take the gallbladder and place it on top of the stomach where the esophagus connects. This is followed by the liver which is placed on top of the gallbladder covering where the esophagus connects. We will now take the heart and place it on top of the liver making sure that our arteries are going into the neck of the fish. Finally, we will take the gills and place them behind the head in the exposed cutouts. Now let's compare our completed diagram to the colored schematic on page four. That looks pretty good. Congratulations, you've completed your dissection. We recommend now that you start from step 11 and move backwards, mimicking a real life fish dissection. Thank you for participating in this dissection today. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. We'll see you next time.